face rate fallacy. If someone hears that a friend is very shy and quiet, they might think the friend is more likely to be a librarian than a salesperson, even though there are far more salespeople than librarians overall, hence making it more likely that their friend is actually a salesperson. This happens because we tend to ignore the base rate and pay more attention to information pertaining only to a specific case. Conjunction fallacy. If I told you that Mr. John had a heart attack, which one of these two affirmations would you think is more likely to be true? If you guessed the second one, because heart attacks usually happen to older people, you chose the mathematically less probable option, as two events co-occurring are always equal to or less than the probability of either event occurring alone. Masked man fallacy. Leibniz's law states that if A and B are the same object, then A and B have all the same properties. This fallacy is an improper use of Leibniz's law, incorrectly linking what you know about the object or person with the actual object or person, without considering that your knowledge can vary based on how it's described or presented. Moving the goalpost. Also known as raising the bar, it occurs when someone keeps changing what counts as proof or evidence to make it harder to meet their demands. Hot hand fallacy. It's the belief that a person who has experienced success with a random event has a greater chance of further success in additional attempts. This fallacy often occurs in sports, especially in basketball, where a shooter is more likely to score if their previous attempts were successful, going into what it's called a streak. It's still debated if this is an actual phenomenon or a fallacy. Existential fallacy. In the existential fallacy, one presupposes that a class has members when one is not supposed to do so. If I said that all trespassers will be prosecuted, and from that affirmation I deduce that some of those prosecuted will have trespassed, I'm committing an existential fallacy. The first statement does not require the existence of any actual trespassers, stating only what would happen if some do exist, and therefore does not prove the existence of any. Mott and Bailey. This one is a rhetorical strategy where someone makes a controversial or hard to defend claim, called the Bailey, but when challenged, retreats to a more reasonable, easier to defend position, called the Mott. Affirmative conclusion from a negative premise. This formal fallacy is committed when a categorical syllogism has a positive conclusion and one or two negative premises. The only thing that can be properly inferred from this example is that some things that are not fish cannot fly, provided that dogs exist. Definitional retreat. It consists of changing the meaning of a word when an objection is raised and saying that the new position is the one that he held all along. This makes him avoid the appearance of having been proven wrong. Post hoc fallacy. It's the mistaken belief that if one event occurs after another, the first event must be the cause of the second. Persuasive definition. A persuasive definition is a definition that wants to look like it's trying to describe the objectively true or commonly accepted meaning of a term, while in reality it gives a biased viewpoint. This fallacy is usually used in controversial topics where people might care more about influencing others than giving neutral and unbiased facts. Feedback fallacy. Believing in the objectivity of an evaluation to be used for improvement without verifying that the source of the evaluation is a party that doesn't have interest in spreading an agenda. Homunculus fallacy. It's a fallacy whereby a concept is explained in terms of the concept itself without giving a true definition or explanation. For example, explaining thought as something produced by a little thinker, a homunculus inside the head simply identifies an intermediary actor and does not explain the product or process of thinking. If by whiskey, 